Hi guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So today we're going to be building a little bit of a smaller home. It's not really a starter home because it's almost 40,000 simoleons. So it's like 30,000 something simoleons, but so it's not technically a starter home. But it's supposed to kind of look like a starter home. So this home is a little, a kind of like shotgun style home. I did look at a few pictures of shotgun style homes when I built this. So it's not completely like exact obviously because it's the Sims. But I did look at a few pictures and all of that stuff when I built it. So it's a little bit more inspired by that kind of style I guess. But yeah, it's supposed to be like a little smaller home for a single mom and her sister. So basically I had this story in my head. And this build and the family is actually a family that I'm going to be playing with. I'm actually going to be playing with this family as part of my like new crest legacy type thing. That I explained to you guys in... I can't remember which build I explained this in. <laughs> I can't remember in which build I talked about this, but basically I have this really big like new crest save file type thing that I'm working on. That's just for me personally because I'm using custom content in that like on the sims and everything not build mode. But yeah, I'm using that for a, like a bunch of custom content and mods for my sims and everything. Basically, it's just this really big like story that I have that I have like 23 pages of notes handwritten out I actually went ahead and like retyped all of it onto the computer so that I have like a word document of all of my like notes and backstories and everything for the sims but basically at this point there's 10 different families that are like really heavily involved in this story and those are just the 10 families that I'm going to be playing with there's a bunch of like other families that I've also created that are a part of the storyline but I'm not going to be playing with them like actively. But yeah basically so this is for that <laughs> like new Chris legacy thing that I'm working on for myself. And I just thought that I would share a few of the builds that I'm doing with you guys. I'm not going to be sharing all of the builds because sometimes I do just want to sit down and build without you know focusing on the fact that I'm busy recording because when you record a build it is a little bit of a different mindset that you get into you get into this mindset of I can't take my time I can't like spend a thousand years on this one room cluttering it and detailing it and changing swatches 700 times before I'm like happy with it when I'm like recording a build I don't really have I have that mindset of you know I can't spend seven years like changing the swatches of a single item like 50 times before I'm happy with it. I kind of have to do it like a handful of times and then just do it and be happy with it almost. Not that I, not that I don't like my builds that I do when I record. I do like them. It's just a little bit of a different... It's just a little bit of a different mindset I guess. I don't know how to explain it if you aren't familiar with like recording. <laughs> then you probably won't know what I'm talking about. But basically, sometimes it's nice to just sit down with a build, take my time, you know, get up when I want to get up, like do something like in the midway, you know, when I'm busy with it, I can like stop and look at something else and watch a story or do something like that. I don't just have to be focused on the build. So yeah, it's nice to do that sometimes. So that's why I won't be sharing all of the builds that I do. But I'm going to try and share at least a few of them because I do like the families. I'm really invested in the families and I want to show you guys where they live. So yeah, that's something. But if you guys are ever curious about the builds that I don't do videos on, I usually share them either over on Instagram or on Twitter. I'll share like pictures of them and from like the exterior, the interior, stuff like that. So yeah, those, my like social media links are always in the description if you guys want to like follow me on there to get kind of like a behind the scenes look at some of the stuff that I'm working on or anything like that. But basically the sims that I have living here, let me tell you guys about them. So basically we have a single mom and her toddler son. And yeah, she is a single mom. The dad isn't in the picture at all. He's not a very good guy. 
<laughs> or anything like that. He's never met his son. He didn't even know that she was pregnant when she got pregnant. And basically she up and left her hometown and she moved to Newcrest when she found out she was pregnant. Because like I said, the dad isn't a good guy and she didn't want him in her toddler's life. So yeah, we have the single mom and then recently, I'm thinking like within the last like two months or so, her sister, her younger sister actually moved in with her as well. So yeah, she, her sister is now currently like staying in the toddler's room where and the toddler is in her bedroom like she he has a little bed set up in his mom's bedroom so it's very cramped and the house really isn't built for like three sims if you know two of them aren't sharing a bed so yeah the sister is now in the toddler's room the toddler shares a bed with his not a bed like a bedroom with his mom so yeah it's all very cramped i don't know what they're going to do when the toddler becomes a child but I'm thinking in my head that he's only like three years old or so, so it should be a while before he ages up into a child. And the sister is actually a medical assistant. I'm not planning on having her move up too much in the medical, in like the medical field, in like the doctor career. I don't plan on her actually becoming a doctor, but I do want her to be like a nurse or something. So. Hopefully she'll be able to save up enough money to move out and get out and move into her own house or something. Because, yeah, this house really isn't built for, like, this many sims. So, yeah, you guys will see me move on to the bedrooms right now. I did want the whole house to have a very run-down kind of feel. Just in the sense that the mom re just recently moved into this place. She just recently saved up enough money to move into this house and then her sister moved in and you know everything is a little bit all over the place at the moment so I do want it to look very cluttered very lived in and like she tries her best to keep it clean and keep it like you know keep everything working but she does she's not really like someone to go out and fix up the outside of her house you know she's more focused on making the interior nice and homey and very inviting so yeah, that's kind of the idea that I had in my head. So the mom is a painter, so that's why you guys saw me putting down the art easel and all of that. Originally, I did think that the art easel and her like painting setup would have been in her bedroom. But now that her toddler has to stay in the room with her, she's like moved that all out into the living room. Which is the why the living room and like dining space is very kind of cramped looking I did want it to look like that like specifically so that is something that I actually try to go for and yeah you guys will see that I did make the toddler's little corner as cute as I could and like put up some lights and everything so she does care about her son a lot it is a boy I don't think I mentioned that but yeah she does have a little son so she cares about him a lot he's like the only thing almost not the only thing but like he's the most important thing in her world basically so yeah she tries to do as much for him as she can and yeah we have her sister's room now I wanted I wanted to make it look very like temporary so like they just have maybe like an inflate inflatable like futon bed for her or something and some Ikea pictures and everything like that that she just bought and put up on the wall and then like the clothing rail like she just hung up her clothes she doesn't have like a proper dresser I mean there is a dresser in her room but it's very beat up looking and I thought it would have been the toddler's dresser originally so yeah it's very very I wanted her room to basically look very temporary I guess that's how I put it so yeah we've moved on to the exterior to the backyard and the backyard isn't all that big it's on a 20 by 15 lot so it's not a super big lot so there isn't too much to do the mom is also into gardening so I do put down quite a few garden planters and everything like that and you guys will see in the screenshots that I went ahead and I like placed down like fruits and vegetables and all of all of those different kinds of plants in the planters so there are some things growing if you guys are interested in like having a garden sim living here but this build is up on the gallery if you guys want to download it all of the download information will be in the description but i hope you guys like this build if you did give it a like and if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see some more sims content feel free to hit the subscribe button and remember to turn on the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever i upload a new video but I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will talk to you all in my very next video. 
Bye guys! Oh